so you might be trying to figure out what some of the best screen recording applications you can get on your particular Android phone. Now, I think the best one you could probably get is the one that's built into your Android phone. We'll get into that in a second. But if your phone doesn't actually have one of those, one of the best things you can do for the most part is to go ahead and make your way over to your Google Play Store and download one of these main screen recorders. Now, the one that I typically use that I've used before is this one called Screen Recorder X Recorder. So what this one basically allows you to do, and I've installed this as you can see on a lot of different devices, the one that I basically, you know, would basically use this particular application for is for the phones that I typically don't have a built-in screen recorder. So think of phones like, you know, Samsung Galaxy A series, some of them, you know, the baseline ones don't have a built-in screen recorder. So you kind of have to use one of these third-party applications. Now, what I would do is, you know, for the most part, downloading one of these apps, these apps have a lot of capability and a lot of possibility within them for sure. So they have one touch, you know, screen recording, so you can record anything anywhere. You can go ahead and, you know, doodle on the screen while you're screen recording. So you can capture it and you can draw on the screen, which is pretty cool. You have high quality and clear sound. This is basically what you'd expect on any other screen recorder. So it's basically the same exact one as any other one. But it's a really, really decent one. Any of these other ones are really good too. But these are very decent ones because they don't make you, they don't upcharge a crazy amount. There's some built-in features that you can pay for, but otherwise for their stock core features, they're actually pretty solid. However, with that being said, I think the best screen recorder that you can possibly use is the one that's built into your phone if you have one. So if you don't know which one it is, you can swipe down and you can swipe down one more time to get into your control center panel right at the very top. What you can do is swipe to the side and you want to find your screen recording toggle, which is right here. If you tap on it, you'll see this little pop-up come up. And if you want to, you can go and just start screen recording straight from this particular panel. These are some of the best screen recorders you can have on your particular device because they're just built in. They just, you know, work as they should. And they're just really, really easy, you know, you know uh, apps to kind of use. They're just, you know, built in. So what you can do here is you can go ahead and basically just start clicking on record audio right there. And if you want to, you could just start recording your audio as you normally would. So you could just go and use this as you normally would right here. And you could just start clicking start recording. And it will go ahead and start recording whatever you're doing on your particular display. So that is something I like. It's, again, one of my most favorite screen recorders. So again, my favorite one is the one that's built in right up into here. And again, you can go and kind of modify it if you want to do entire screen or whatever. You can click Start Recording. You can record the sounds and songs and you know whatever else you're doing. And whenever you're ready, click Stop. You can stop recording. So that's basically how it works. If you have any other thoughts or questions or you have any other screen recording apps that I should check out, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.